Hey guys, this is Frank Sakura from SA Miami, and today I want to go over something that can be confusing for some people, and it's limiters. So if you guys come along with me, I'll show you some of the uses and various types of limiters that we find today in our DAWs. I'm going to kind of throw in a couple of different limiters here. Um, you can kind of use them. This is a, a, I'll show you guys now, there's LA-2A. So here is a, a version of the LA-2A. Uh, it's compressor, uh, a great compressor, but the limiter also works really well for controlling things. So if you have something that's a little bit unruly uh, because of the style of compression and how the limiting works on this, you can actually get away with a little bit more compression than you would. Uh, and it sounds still pretty good just because the compressor is kind of slow uh, and it still let the peaks through and kind of compress the rest of it. Now, uh, I, you guys saw that I clipped there and I kind of left that there on purpose uh, to show you guys that this compressor, because of its design, uh, is a lot slower. So even though it's limiting some of the audio, it's letting the peaks through. And then because there's makeup gain, uh, it's actually uh, getting turned up a little bit too much, um, but still a great sound. And if you wanted to uh, use it on drums, it's a, it's a great thing. It's a great way to kind of control some stuff and kind of get it where you need to. All right, guys, so there were some tips for using your limiters. I hope you guys learned a lot. Uh, and if there's more information you guys want to get, you can check us out at sae.edu.